Hey, Master Gardeners, I'm out walking my brother's dog this morning, and I actually walked it yesterday, and I'm so impressed with this beautiful perennial because they're such a durable plant. We had thunderstorm last night, and this guy is still standing up, not even damaged in any way by the winds and the heavy storms. So come on, let's take a look. So this is Baptisia. You've probably heard about this wonderful native before. It's a gorgeous shrub-like perennial. And look at how big it is. Well, let me back up again. You can see it's about four foot tall, four foot wide. This is probably Baptisia spherocarpa. And there's other wild false indigos. Australis is the uh, purple species. And you've probably seen these pretty flowers before. You know, this is probably the most desirable characteristic is it's deer resistant as well as rabbit resistant. Look at those pretty yellow lupin-like flowers, which are, what are they, 10 inches, 12 inches? Now yesterday, during the day, this was much more erect, but today after the storm, it's flopping out a little bit and not as erect. But I like this bushier habitat. Mount Cuba did some studies, trial studies. That's the nice part about Mount Cuba is they'll take one species of a native perennial and they'll research, they did a research uh, test trials on 46 different selections of Baptisia and they found it to be an exceptional perennial which is a pretty awesome pretty awesome uh, rating to get so why do you think this guy gets such a fabulous rating number one is this pretty blue foliage which is a compound as you can see pea like foliage and it's a very erect plant very tall this thing is at least four foot tall I don't know how many years old this is I would venture to say it's got to be at least seven or eight years old to get this large because that's one of the weaknesses of it is it takes so darn long to establish it. It's kind of a slow grower. But the other value is first the beautiful green foliage and then the summer flowers, which is pretty spectacular blooms. And the third thing is after these yellow flowers continue, they become pods. Now this yellow cultivar gets a brown pod on it and the purple wild indigos get a black pod on them. So two different colors and the cool thing about the pods is it's something the kids can cut and play with because they can become rattles and you can play with them. So it's a pretty cool attribute. So what a sturdy, sturdy perennial native to, uh, they say Pennsylvania down through Texas area. It's kind of rare to find this as a native species in our Maryland area. So take a look at that pea type blossom on it very beautiful little flower. Those of you that are gardeners know that peas are capable of fixing nitrogen from the air and putting it back into the ground, making it in a usable form for plants. The other cool plant, uh, the other cool aspect about this plant is it's a pollinator plant. It draws insects, especially carpenter bees, as well as bumblebees. Beautiful flowers. Yeah, carp carpenter bees, bumblebees, and then as well as the draws butterflies, like the sulfurs and the skippers, both of those Lepidoptera species, like this shrub. And then they also are preferred by birds because they'll actually eat the seeds in the fall months. So the only weaknesses are, I, it grows in sun or full, um, full sun is preference if you want these big flowers. Look how wide that guy is. I mean, four foot wide. But the weight of the pods can sometimes make the shrub tip over. So if you're afraid of a shrub tipping over, you would have to, you cut the pods off. Or if you want those pods, you're gonna have to do some staking for them. But what a wonderful plant. They call it false indigo is one of the common names because back in the old days, the colonists used it for a indigo blue dye for the, obviously the blue cultivars, but they said it's a pretty, not a really nice substitute for that. But what an amazing Baptisia shrub. So this is a good plant for everybody's native garden. Everybody ought to have one of these. And you can actually use it as almost a screening plant because this guy is like four and five feet wide. That thing is huge. So give this Baptisia a try. You're gonna have to give it a little bit of time. But what a beautiful perennial for your yard.